The covers of a teenage uh, drug dealer injecting a teenage girl with, with heroin. Who, who puts that on an album cover? I do. <laughs> What's up? This is Admiral Crumple, just talking about this art poster I'm selling now. Basically, this, buying this poster, this, this is uh, $25. It's $25 for anywhere in North America, $30 for anywhere overseas and everything like that. You can send that money direct through PayPal to AdmiralCrumple at Hotmail.com. I mean, I've been doing art since I was a kid. This is like my first piece of art that I'm selling. This is... 10 years of Cataphonic Productions and every single album cover, both front and back, that I've released. So that's, I've released 12 albums in the last uh, 10 years. So it's like, boom, congratulations to me and all the fans and thanks for the support and everything like that. You know, representing dark and hardcore hip hop. And basically it has all my album covers. And I'm gonna do it sign. There's so many rappers out there in the social networking sites and everyone seems to be rapping, but I feel like Admiral Crump, well, I'm one of the originators, not originators, but I was the, I was amongst the ones. I was rhyming since 1998, you know how it is. Start, I released my first album in 2002, the same year Cage did Movies for the Blind and so on. There's always different social networking sites and there's like Facebook, MySpace, some die this, that. Everything changes, but I'm always gonna be around because this is my passion and this is what I do. This is a signed poster, I'm gonna sign it right there. It has the mission statement. You know, for all the fans, this poster, this cataphonic art poster is like to add to your collection. All all these all these um all the album covers are from the original high print arts. I mean the original high quality like whatever, like my digital the original prints that I that I did. This this is a very high quality poster because it's all like 300 dpi or high quality from the original prints. Basically all these, this, this shows like a 10 year history of Admiral Crumple and the whole cataphonic legacy. Um, it also includes albums that aren't, aren't going to be pressed up or released anymore. This is laminated, I'm, I'm not sending it laminated, if you want to laminate it, it'll it just cost like $2. If I send it laminated in the tube, it's going to get crumpled up, get it? Hey! Okay, check this out. This shows all the album covers, so it's like boom. This is uh, Interfuse. Basically, when I printed this out, I was just like looking at it. And I was like, mess for like 20 minutes. I was just looking at this and I'm just like, wow. It's amazing what you could do over a 10 year period if you're dedicated and whatever. And um, I was just like looking at it because it's like really high quality. Like all the album prints are from the original prints. It shows all the song titles. So it's not only the album cover, but also the back or the trade card. So it has all the production credits and everything. So you know, it says like Cataphonic Productions. Celebrating 10 years. It also says our mission statement, which is our mission is to run a conscience active, principle centered, and value driven business where we present our creativity to the world, gain respect and appreciation, and inspire others to create. So basically, everything from like 2002, that's when I uh, started uh, the Interfuse album, and it's just basically like a thing of uh, a picture of like a kid screaming the projects, Bleach Harmony, the crew album, crazy like me, Anonymix, and Romulus. Shit, we had songs called Coke Party and Hookers. It's hilarious, like, project, whatever. We did shows downtown. Great Demons, that has a building of, uh, that has a picture of the building in Bergamot, where I grew up, Rexdale, and so on. This one's cool. This is uh, Natural Laws 2004, and basically the cover, this is the covers of a teenage uh, drug dealer injecting a teenage girl with, with heroin. Who, who puts that on an album cover? I do. So in, in the back has like a, a prostitute with her kid chilling on the block or whatever. Anyways, that's Scarcity. All those all those original four albums, like I'm not repressing or anything. Scarcity, when that came out, that was like the best of all the other ones. Because I never pressed up those officially, like I was just doing them at home. Scarcity was the 2005, that's when I first started pressing up albums. It was a collection of the best of of everything else, plus like an additional five new tracks. So it's like best of the old stuff and like a new EP. Uh, when Source Rock came out, people said that's like a masterpiece. That's when I did a track with Pumpkinhead, and that was like amazing for me. Then it's like to uh, uh, Next Night in 2007, did record a track with Cool Keith, Another Dream Come True. 
Um, this is uh, Netherworld. Netherworld here, when I recorded with Cage. Another dream come true. And then Cryptology here, that's like a picture of me like with the Bible in the front and a stack of money and stuff. Because it's like, at that point I realized in life it's like, nothing's for certain. There's no certainty in life. The only certain things in life are um, principles, choice, and change, right? And that's another thing, because this is like 10 years and I went through all the changes and every time something happened in life, whatever, I expressed it and this is like showing how I'm progressing in life through my music. So that's that. Um, then here, the Cali Project. That's when I went to LA, Los Angeles. Enough respect to Bammer and Evergreen. We created an album, went to Los Angeles, did a whole album there. Um, here's an alternative cover for Cryptology, 2009. This is my best of album, which has like over 40 tracks, and that's a bunch of tracks from like 1999 and so on that I did before, before the, before 2002, before the other albums. And then basically, boom, this is my new album. This is um, the new album, which is called Dark Sentences, and, and so on, and it's wild because it's like, I'm looking at this and it's like, I can go back, I can go back and do like a video for like any of these tracks. Cause there's hit tracks, but to my fans, there's like hit Admiral Crumple tracks. Like Street Girl, uh, like like They Said, um, The Greatest People, you know, so on. You can see all my greatest hits in the fan tracks video and stuff like that. Cocaine Overdose, all that stuff. So basically, boom, this is like the cataphonic art poster. This represents like 10 years of someone who's dedicated and committed to his passion and his art and all that. It's something, it's a poster you can hang up in your room, you know, show your friends. I'm really proud of it and I'm really excited about other stuff going forward. Like, I took all these earnings from each album. From each album, what I would do is I'd like, I'd write 10 things like what can I learn and to improve on a new one. And that's what I've been doing. Hit me up, again, $25 for the poster. Uh, for anywhere in North America, $30 for the poster, I'll send it to you anywhere worldwide. Uh, and it's uh, just send that money via PayPal to Admiral Crumple at Hotmail.com. I'm also going to send sell a uh, canvas painting of this that's going to be much more pricier. But yeah, this is like a piece of artwork. This represents, because I've been an artist. I've, I, I wrote books when I was a kid, I've, I've written a novel, I'm an author, la la la. I'm a cartoonist, MC, whatever, everything. And this is kind of like the first Admiral Crumple painting if you will and it's like honestly i love it like it's just something like it's wow like the all the art it's like graffiti you know what i mean it's just wow like it's really dope and again it's all signed and it is what it is so that's what it is cataphonic productions 2000 and whatever i'm not going to say the year because what we do is timeless and it is what it is make it a great day peace